had a relatively easy pregnancy. No complications, no symptoms of anything going wrong. I actually love to be pregnant. I gave birth to my son, everybody was ecstatic and happy, and then that night I didn't feel that well. When I came into the emergency room, they told me that my heart was only functioning at 14%. Um, they didn't know how I was still walking and talking. I was scared, definitely. I was confused and just very unsure of what this meant for the future. I'm very glad that Melinda came here to Mount Sinai because we were experts in the field of advanced heart failure. We knew that in order to maintain her survival, we were going to need to put in a ventricular assist device. crying going into the operating room. And they prepared everybody that I might not wake up for two or three days. And I woke up that night, <laughs> uh, begging to be taken off the ventilator. I was sore, um, but I wasn't coughing. I wasn't getting short of breath. I actually felt like how I should have felt right after giving birth. You know what impresses me about Melinda is her spirit. She is definitely a fighter. She's someone who pushes on. I love the team that I have here. Mount Sinai and especially Dr. Pinney and my surgeon, Dr. Ani, have been phenomenal. I think having that personal relationship with me put me so much more at ease during my recovery process. I owe my entire life to them. When I went into the hospital and he was still that tiny little infant, now he was you know, sitting himself up and starting to roll around. It was so nice to be able to see that, um, especially not knowing that I would ever be able to do that. We're very much looking forward to carrying Melinda through the next phase of her treatment, which is her heart transplant. I have no doubt that she's gonna do great. So my hopes for the future, uh, obviously to live a very long life. Experience watching my son grow up, watch him get married, but being able to enjoy my life.